hey guys and welcome back to my channel uh, i'm hoping and praying you all are doing well my name is ragini and i do upload faith-based videos twice a week if you're one of those who loves hearing the word of god please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to this channel that way you will get notified on time as you can see i'm sitting in this beautiful beautiful place in a park and i would love to share with you the view so just have a look So currently I am in British Columbia in Vancouver and I just was sitting over here appreciating the creation of God and I was also reading my favorite book which is called The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren and I thought let me share something with you all. So today I want to talk about formed for God's family. God loves family. He chose family. He put you in a family and the book of Hebrews chapter 2 verse 10 says god is the one who made all things and all things are for his glory he wanted to have many children share his glory 1 john 3 1 says see how very much our heavenly father loves us for he allows us to be called his children and we really are do you know that we are adopted in god's family as believers we were separated from god because of our sin but because of what our lord jesus did on the cross now if you have faith and believe in the gospel of your salvation you're not only saved but now you're adopted in god's family you are formed for god's family god wants a family and he created you to be part of it this is god's second purpose for your life which he planned before you were born the entire bible is the story of god building a family who will love him honor him and reign with him forever that means also after um we pass away because there is another kingdom the kingdom of god amen because god is love he treasures relationship it says his unchanging plan has always been to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through jesus christ and this gave him great pleasure for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life amen because god is love he treasures relationships his very nature is relational and he identifies himself in family terms like father son and the holy spirit the trinity is god's relationship to himself it's a perfect pattern for relational harmony and we should study its implications god has always existed from the beginning in loving relationship to himself so he has never been lonely he didn't need a family he desired one he devised a plan to create us bring us into his family and share with us all he has this gives god great pleasure the bible says it was a happy day for him when he gave us our new lives through the truth of his word and we became as it were the first children in his family every human being was created by god but not everyone is a child of god every single creature or every single human being was created by God but not everyone is a child of God because people sometimes intentionally reject the gift of God or the gift of salvation by believing in Jesus so today I'm going to stop over here and we will continue reading from the same book in my next video but before I go I want to ask you this question have you been adopted in God's family have you believed or accepted the gift of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ because if you haven't then the Bible says today is the day of salvation nothing and nobody can save us eternally except of Jesus Christ our Lord for what he did on the cross for us may this message be an encouragement and a blessing for you and i will see you all in my next video until then you guys take care god bless you and always stay rooted in christ bye